we're going to start this portfolio off slow and steady. Carrie from Nashville, this is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. Jay Wise coming at you from the home office during the days of social distancing. Now, I'm working with a new client. Uh, this is my man, Carrie. Carrie, you are an IT dude down in Nashville. You were actually referred to us by a, a buddy of yours. He did some investing with us, and he's uh, very pleased with the amount of coin we're making him. So you hopped on, and you're an aggressive dude. I like that. Uh, you sent me like a whole big thing of your investment plans. You got a whole four you know, phase plan. You want to start off small right now, get some you know, low risk B class single family investments, eventually build that portfolio up to commercial assets. And I like that, man. There is no reason uh, for investors out there to jump into high risk stuff immediately. Uh, and there's no reason to jump into the biggest deals possible. I mean, you got to walk before you can run. And uh, the first property is a property you've identified. I like the property quite a bit. And then the second property is one that I found that I thought would, uh, you know, fit with what you're trying to do. So let's just punch uh, right in to your first deal you're doing. Uh, I believe we're going to end up, I believe you've signed up to to have me run numbers and do due diligence for you on like 15, 14, 14 or 16 properties already. We had some sales running on the MLS search analysis show, some BOGOs, and then the, the ultimate sale right now, which is the 10 property package that we are running all through the coronavirus pandemic, guys. Uh, other businesses are slowing down, shutting down, and we want to show you guys that we're still here for you. Holton Wise is still able to handle things uh, very close to normal. Yes, we do have non-essential field staff working in off-site locations if they don't uh, have to be there. Like, we can do the show from my house uh, just as well as we can do it from the studio. So, you know, why not, right? Uh, my media team can, you know, handle phone calls, set these things up. My sales team, they can handle phone calls, do emails, uh, yada, yada. They can do that from home offices, but field staff, right? Field staff got to be out there in the field, right? You can't unclog poop out of a toilet via teleconference. So we still got our field staff out there, guys. So make sure you are taking advantage of this sale while it lasts, all right? 10 properties. We're going to analyze full video analysis, all the due diligence you guys need for 10 properties for only $2,000. You would never, ever, well, at least you shouldn't, if you've been watching Holton Wise TV, uh, paying attention to what I've been saying, you should know that you should never buy a property without doing the proper due diligence. And, you know, a home inspection on a duplex is four or $500. On a single family, that's 350 You know, this is only 200 bones per property, and I'm running you through 10, really breaking down the neighborhood, uh, the Cleveland market, all the various neighborhoods is what I meant to say, you know, everything and getting you know bouncing ideas back to you you bounce ideas back to me right you can't you can't successfully go in and mitigate your risk in a new neighborhood a new market any better than this right you know the money it's so small compared to the amount of money that can be made or lost when you're investing so you'd never try to buy something without an inspection you'd probably never want to do something without an appraisal so why would you go in and get into these investments without some serious due diligence from me running them as businesses, running the numbers as businesses, right? Yes, I'm a licensed real estate broker. Yes, I'm the number one seller of rental property in Cleveland, but no, I'm not like your normal realtor. No, I would never drive you around and tour properties with you. No, I will never talk to you and your wife about drapes. No, I do not sell owner-occupied properties, right? All I do is look at these single family homes, duplexes, apartment buildings. I look at them as monetary investments. I do not sell properties to people that just want a nice fancy place to live. I go ahead and I, I source that out. Even if people that I know are like, hey, can you sell me my house for trying to move? No, brother, I cannot. Let me send you to like Keller Williams or Century 21 or something, right? So 
Don't go into these investments, especially in out-of-state market, without all the knowledge at your disposal. That's, you know, that's my rant right now in the sale, the COVID sale. $2,000 for 10 properties, way cheaper than we've ever done. Normally, I charge about 800 bucks a property for that. So, Gary, you've taken advantage of a ton of those sales. I had some buy, buy, buy one, get ones before that that were a little more expensive. Uh, so, long story short, that you've banked up enough to build yourself a badass portfolio, but you want to start with some singles, and I respect that, brother. So, let's talk about the first property that you shot to me. 19201 Nauman Newman Nauman I don't know how to say that Nauman or Newman or something like that Euclid Ohio 44119 now this is a single family it's a four bed two bath and on your estimation you told me hey man I think this is going to rent for $1100 and you know what Carrie I agree with you brother I think this four bedroom two bath home should rent for 1100 bones that's going to be $13200 a year now I like the idea of going section eight on a property like this. The, it's not that Euclid is like a high risk neighborhood. Like a lot of times when we get into these higher risk neighborhoods, guys, I tell you, I really want to go section eight to alleviate your risk. Not necessarily the case with why I want you to do this one. Cause Euclid is a B class area. You've got a ton of workers over in that area making good money. Hey everybody, guess what's happening right now? It's the motherfucking coronavirus, okay? What is happening with the fucking coronavirus? Businesses are being shut down across the world. But you know what? One business, there's one business that is just fucking destroying it. They're hiring people like crazy. They're putting other people out of business, and that's motherfucking Amazon, okay? And guess what? They just opened a fulfillment center in Euclid right there, an Amazon fulfillment center, right? So we had a ton of new jobs come to the marketplace, and now more than ever, I would hitch my horse to that wagon, dude. So there's just a ton of workers. Uh, but, but the reason, the reason, even though that stuff is awesome, I see that growing the property values, but I don't really want you to rent this particular house to those Amazon workers because I want you to rent the house instead to somebody on section eight. Why? Because it's a four bed, two bath. I believe that four bed, two bath is going to get us a great voucher. Okay. 1100 bones. If we go the cash paying route, yes, we've got a ton of tenants, stable tenants, but I don't think we're going to be able to hit that $1,100 number. That fourth bedroom is really going to hook us up. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't be shocked if we go above 1100. You see, I want you to check out the Section 8 fact on HoltonWise.com. Section 8 is very, very, uh, you know, it's a tough program to work with. There's a lot of bureaucracy and, you know, a lot of inconsistency, okay? You could ask five employees the same question, you'll get five different answers. It just is what it is. But, uh, you know, they go out and individually every single time they give you the rent amount that they're willing to pay for the property. So I would say 11 is probably our basement. It could actually go up. You might even be able to rent this for like 12, 1250, but, you know, Sometimes it's hit or miss with those folks. But all I know is that fourth bedroom and that second bathroom, that's going to increase our price on that voucher. And we will get the most rent from this property a la Section 8. As for the property itself, dude, I like the property. It's pretty nice. Uh, the agent who listed it works at Geisler Realty. He actually uh, is the owner as well. And it's a pretty nice, fresh, clean property. Something that you notice, Carrie, that I agree with you. Uh, you wish there was a little bit more consistency with the property, and I kind of agree with you. A lot of the walls are neutral colors, but there are some rooms that are like different colors. Like, for instance, the kitchen is a different color than the remainder of the house. But all told, everything looks pretty good. I don't anticipate uh, any repairs. Like, we already got neutral colors, white trim. The floors look like they've been freshly uh, refinished. So ev everything in this looks pretty good. I don't really think you're going to need to do anything to this particular property, but 84900 I think that's actually pretty pricey. Uh, you know, with what we're seeing in Euclid right now, even though, you know, it's a great neighborhood, it's very consistent, I see prices probably rising in the future. I love that we're anchored by fucking Amazon, right? You know, biggest goddamn global pandemic in the whole fucking world, and we got the best business, right? The best business to, to hitch our horse to, right? Hitch our wagon to, whatever the hell that saying is. Uh, I like everything, but I still don't like the deal at 85K. The guy originally listed it for like 90K. It's too much. 85K, pfft, too much, dude. I mean, this guy, he's a he's a flipper, I believe, right? He picked this thing up for like 27K, probably all distressed six, eight months ago. Uh, so he probably fixed it all up, did all this. So he's definitely going to make some money. 
I believe we should probably, our sweet spot should be 70, right? 70 G's. Now, if you got to pay more, if you got to pay more than 70, that's cool. Like if you end up paying like 75, 76, 77, I, I would still say do the deal, but I don't think you need to do this deal at 85. I, I like this deal at 70. As far as renovations, I don't think we need to do anything. Now we're going to get an inspection, right? As I talked about in the beginning of the show, brother, due diligence. You're doing your due diligence now, getting me to run the asset, talk about the neighborhood, talk about the tenant base, all that jazz. That's great, but it's just step one, dude. You know, I'm sitting in my home office. I am not a home inspector. I am not crawling, you know, in the attic or I'm not looking at the roof, things of that nature. So you definitely want to make sure you get a home inspector in there to see if there's any issues. As far as the point of sale, Carrie, if you're not sure, uh, what a point of sale is, is that's a foreign concept to you. In the show notes below, I've got a link to a point of sale video. It explains what the point of sale is. That's something that a lot of investors are going to have to deal with if they're investing in the various cities in the Cleveland market. At this price range, with how the property looks, I would anticipate us getting a clear point of sale violation report prior to closing. So we will ask for that. We will negotiate for that in the contract. The agent himself didn't say anything about it, but we're going to go ahead and ask for it and see where it goes. I wouldn't want to see you pay, like if you do have to pay 75, 76, 77, I wouldn't want to see you pay that price and have to clear off some POS violations. If you picked it up for my sweet spot 70 and we have to do like a thousand dollars worth of little knickknack stuff that you got to assume that's no biggie. Um, but I definitely don't want to see you pay close to full price here and have to do POS repairs. So we're going to negotiate to get that POS clear. We're also going to negotiate that the deal's contingent on third-party home inspection as well as your financing, which is going to include a bank appraisal, which is going to make sure you don't overpay for the property because brother, you already hooked it up pretty good with your lender. Your lender is actually going to let you do this deal with only 20% down instead of the typical 25% which is what most people have to do. You know, sometimes guys, here's the thing, right? We get these nice 30 year loans, one to four units, 25% down, 30 years, fixed interest, low interest. That's like what we get. And we can get 10 of those suckers, okay? Here's the cool thing. And I don't often bring this up because it just gets confusing, but uh, it sounds like Carrie, your lender hooked it up with you. Sometimes some lenders, guys, they will do your first four loans. Now, probably your first one, that should be owner occupied. So let's just you know burn that. So your next three, loan two, loan three, and loan four, okay? Those three loans, if it's single family only, not you know residential, which is one to four, I'm talking single family only, literally, no duplexes, no triplexes, no quads, straight up single family homes. If it's between your first, second, third, and fourth, but remember you burned your first for your home, that you live in because you should always take care of home base first. So if it's mortgage two, three, or four, sometimes some lenders will allow you to do the deal with only 20% instead of 25. Now loans five through 10 will go back up to 25 and anything, if even if it's loan number three, and you want to do a duplex, it's going to be that 25. But some lenders will do it a little bit lower. Carry your lender is one of them. So what's this deal going to look like if we pick it up at 70? Well, we're going to bring in that 1100 normal stuff right we're going to account for all of the uh you know general things that i like to account for repairs maintenance vacancy and non-payment capex right we're going to put 55 bones in our pocket for all those taxes you gotta pay taxes insurance click the show notes below guys my team will take care of your insurance we can beat down insurance rates anywhere in the nation coast to coast so if you're watching this video you don't have properties in cleveland you got them somewhere else that's cool man let's save you some money Click the show notes below, see if my team can save you money. I can almost guarantee that we can because we are appointed through several insurance firms and all we handle is landlord insurance. So all we do is get you guys the lowest premiums. You know, we know how to work these policies and remove all those BS riders that you see some uh, insurance agents put on there. Like I want you guys to go review your premiums right now. Review your insurance packages right now, guys. See what your premium is and see what riders are on there. I bet if you actually looked into some of your policies, you might actually have a personal poli a personal property rider on there. You might be paying 20 to 60 bucks a year for that. Sounds cheap, but dude, what is that? As personal property, that means you're technically covered in case personal property of yours is damaged at one of your rental properties. Well, hello, what personal property do you guys have at your fucking rental properties? None, right? So we got to get that bullshit out of there. Uh, another rider I see on a lot of these uh, you know, insurance policies that just jack up that premium is rent protection. Dude, that is bogus. You don't need rent protection, guys. First of all, when you're buying a bunch of rental properties, 
it don't make sense to file claims for like five thousand, ten thousand dollars, small little issues. Like if a tenant goes in and trashes your house and does ten thousand dollars worth of damage, some people immediately freak out and they think, oh, let me file an insurance claim. No, guys, insurance companies, rental properties are higher risk than owner occupied properties. So rental property, uh, you know, rental property insurance, number one, it's expensive. Number two, it's high risk for the insurance company. So, you know, insurance companies will drop you if you file BS claims. So what you need to do is get a basic fire policy. So essentially, you're not filing a claim unless that motherfucker burns down, okay? And if that's the case, you get a high deductible, right? You should have a deductible of at least $10,000 to keep those premiums low because the odds your house actually burns down are, you know, are fairly sim, slim. So you're, just, you're buying this insurance just to protect you from the big thing and, of course, to make your lenders happy. So things like rent protection, dude, your, your, your rent protection is going to fall way under your, uh, your, your new uh, deductible, guys. So you're just burning money. See, stuff like that, guys. That's the kind of stuff we go through and you know, we tear apart these policies, and that's how we get them so low. So even if you don't get a quote through my company, which you should by clicking the link below, I want you guys to go through your insurance policies on all of your rental properties and see how much money you're just pissing down the tube because your insurance agent isn't an investor-focused insurance agent. But enough of that, back to this property. Other stuff you're going to have to pay for, Carrie, bro. 75 for that water sewer. Zero bones for lawn care because it's a single family home. We got a nice little garage back there. Tenants can get their own lawnmower there, put the lawnmower in there. And then PM, 100 bucks. Just so you guys know, we charge 10% for management fees, but we cap it at 100 bucks a unit. There is less work for a property manager if the property rents for like 1200 1300 1400 versus renting for 600 okay a 600 dollars a month unit is going to come with a tenant who is a bigger pain in my ass than a 1200 dollars tenant that's just the way it works guys if you don't believe me check out the tenants from hell show right so the lower the rent is the more work your pm does so we reward you guys by buying low risk low hassle properties like this one so over to long-term care, you're going to bring in 1100 I anticipate you'll spend approximately half of that, 508 leaving you with an NOI, an average NOI. Some months will be better, some will be worse, some years will be better, some will be worse. But average NOI that you can reasonably expect, 592 a month, should make you 7100 bones a year. But, of course, you're not going to keep all that because you're financing, so you got a mortgage to pay off. Even though this property is a 10.1 cap, you got to pay off that mortgage. But, dude, you got a clean, beautiful mortgage, right? If we pick it up for... For uh, 70, you only got to put down 14% because you hooked it up with your lender. You got that 20% down loan. So after you pay off your little mortgage, you're still going to clear 345 a month, which is going to put you at a 29.6 cap at my recommended price, my sweet spot, which is 70,000. Again, not the end of the world if you pay 75, 76, 77, but I do not think you need to pay 85. Yeah, it, it's still cash flow. I just, you know, Based on comps, you know, we can't look at these properties purely from a cash flow or cash on ca cash return perspective. We still need to focus on the comps, comps of the neighborhood. And I think 85 is a little bit too high for this particular property. So with some, you know, aggressive negotiations, I believe my team can get it for you in the 70s. Our ultimate goal, picking it up for you for $70,000 so you can make almost 30% on your money. Now, let's go to a word from the sponsors of today's show, and then I will get into the second property. This is the one that I've actually went out and I found for you, brother. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches. FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit fshouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Beal, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, 
competitive price to rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. All right, Carrie, welcome back, brother. Now, this next property, this is the one I found, right? You you found Nauman or Newman or however we say that, and I liked it quite a bit. I want to get it a little cheaper, but that was a great, a great property. Now, based upon a lot of things you said to me, I think this one's going to work too. 5571 Grassmere Avenue, Maple Heights, 44137. This sucker listed by a Century 21 agent for $68,000. Now, as far as the neighborhoods, first thing I want to talk about is the neighborhood, man. You're looking for low risk. Uh, you're trying to stay up in the B class. Now, if you look at the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods, we'll get that up on the screen for you guys so you can check out a little screenshot of what that looks like. I have graded Maple Heights. Technically, it's on there. It's a C, okay? But there's a lot of neighborhoods in the Cleveland market, like specifically Cleveland, Ohio. Like Old Brooklyn is a very big popular neighborhood for us. Uh, also the 44111 zip code of Cleveland. These are very big popular neighborhoods for us. And I've graded those as a C. Uh, those are not equivalent to Maple Heights, okay? Do I think Maple Heights is worthy of a B grade like Euclid? No, I think Euclid is measurably better than Maple Heights. But I also think Maple Heights is measurably better than Old Brooklyn or 44111 in Cleveland. So if we want to be like super technical, I would give Maple Heights either a C plus or a B minus grade. But of course, you know, I'm not I'm splitting hairs. I'm not going to make the guide look like that. So I don't want you to be turned off by the fact that this is uh, – technically a C property uh, in my guide. I consider this to be a, a stable neighborhood. I think you'll get a very stable tenant base. This is falling in line with everything you've told me, okay? Now, as far as how much we're going to rent this sucker for, this is a three-bed, one-bath. Now, I know you're looking for at least three beds, um, and you're hoping to get at least two baths. A lot of the housing stock you're going to find in these rental neighborhoods in the Cleveland market, not a lot of the housing stock is going to come with that second bath. Um, some of it will, and I'll try to, to look for those for you, but you, you probably will see what's very common is a 3-1, okay? Now, if you want to spend like an extra 10 grand on a reno or something, we could toss a bathroom in a basement very easily for you. Um, but, you know, just, just staying consistent with the rest of the housing stock that's out there in the marketplace, so long as we cosmetically make these things beautiful, make the kitchens and baths look banging, uh, you're already going to stand out. So, three ones shouldn't be look, viewed negatively, right? So we go three one on this sucker. We got, I mean, we got a three one on this sucker. We get about a thousand bucks rent, 12,000 a year. As far as the purchase price, they've listed it at 68K, but it's been on the market for quite a while. It's been on the market for 160 days. I believe they had it higher and then they eventually reduced the price down. Now it's at a sweet spot, but I want to negotiate it even further, get more aggressive. I'd like to pick this thing up for you for 60. Now, another thing, as we cruise through some more photos here, you know, this kitchen, that's a banging kitchen, dude. That is a nice little kitchen for a rental, man. That's very modern, very clean, very crisp. As far as the rest of the house goes, we have carpet in there. I would, I would like to remove that carpet. You know, it doesn't look too bad in the pictures right now, but I'm sure once we get in there closer, you know, it might be kind of gross and, you know, you want to freshen things up. So I'd like to do a nice fresh coat of paint throughout the rest of the house, clean up that trim, you know, refinish the hardwoods. So I know you were hoping to stay around 5K or less for vacant properties. I've put a rental budget on this one of 7,500. Now, we don't got to touch that kitchen. That kitchen looks pretty good. But the bath, you know, it doesn't look that great from what I can see. Obviously, I'm working with limited photos here. But, you know, just knowing that I want to maybe put some love into the bathroom, get rid of some carpets that are probably going to be kind of gross up front. And, of course, those walls, they look okay in pictures. But once you get close, I'm sure there's scuff marks. And, dude, when tenants are in there getting ready to move in, they don't want to see something old and scuffed up. They don't want to be reminded that somebody else just moved out. They want to look at a new, clean, fresh product. So because of all that, just minor cosmetic stuff. I'm putting us a nice little $7,500 reno buffer to allow us to do all that stuff. Could the reno come in cheaper? Probably. But, you know, I think this is a fair estimate. And this, you know, is anticipating other unknowns that I don't know about. Things that, you know, my team is going to discover uh, when they're going in there doing the safety checkup and um, making sure this property 
passes all of our guidelines before we'll advertise it for rent. Like things that I don't know about or they're not going to be in the listing is, do all the smoke detectors work? Are there an appropriate amount of smoke detectors in the home? You know, are all the batteries good? Uh, do we need to change furnace filters? Is there minor leaks in other places? When we open the windows, do we have to put a stick in there to, to keep them open or, you know, things of that nature, stuff that, uh, you know, nobody's going to talk about. We can't see from photos, but these are the things that your inspectors are going to check out. These are the things that my team is going to check out before we will be able to rent this property to people. So 7,500, I believe is a pretty fair ballpark to ensure that you get yourself a nice, you know, rentable turnkey asset. Going into the numbers here of that $1,000, you know, with the normal things that Carrie, you've been a, a fan of the show. You've watched a ton of the content. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Uh, you know, all the things that we're going to account for, we should spend approximately 562 of our thousand dollars. That's going to leave us with an NOI of 438 or 5256 on the year. As far as what it's going to look like, okay, as far as our cash on cash return, it's just under what you're hoping for. You're hoping for about 15%. This one is going to be 14.5%. And the reason the cash on cash is going to look a little bit lower is in addition to the 20% down, okay, right? In addition to the $12,000 you're going to put into this as far as the down payment, we have to factor in that I think you're going to spend approximately $7,500 uh, to get it totally rent ready. So I know you were hoping to stay around five. So we're very close, just, you know, $2,500. But I mean, dude, a 14.5% ROI on a nice, stable suburban property. I think this one along with the Euclid one, if we can pick it up for a nice price, I think these are two great uh, properties to start your portfolio off with, right? I don't think it makes the most sense to start off with like incredibly high risk stuff. I mean, these are just two, you know, nice, stable, not sexy, just like solid earners for you. You stack a bunch of these on and when you're getting ready to retire, I mean, that's a, that's a great retirement. You're going to make a ton of, uh, you know, long-term net worth for yourself. So both of these properties, I think will work for you. Uh, let me know, you know, obviously we just emailed this to you, everybody else. If you're watching this video, you are not watching it when Carrie's watching it. We sent this to him probably 60, 90 days ago. This was a private link until both of these deals are gone. Maybe Carrie picked them up. Maybe he didn't. Uh, I'm not sure, but as you're watching this, as they're released live on Holton Wise TV, so you guys all get an understanding how we operate here and are able to learn and become better investors from the show. Uh, we only released that for you at the time when the deals are gone. So these properties are no longer on the market as you're watching. So if you're watching this, you can't, you can't buy these deals. They're gone, either carry bottom or something else happened. I mean, these are on the open market. So sometimes guys, you know, we send you this analysis and you put in your offer and you get outbid by other investors, right? You know, not working with us other investors. I'm just talking other investors, right? I mean, these are both listed by agents. Those agents have been hired to sell these properties. So not every deal goes down, Maybe it's not exactly what you're looking for. Maybe you get outbid. Maybe this, maybe that. Maybe the seller gets hit by a bus. Dude, I don't know. That's why, again, I think it makes the most sense for you guys to get this 10 property package, why we have got the price so damn cheap. Like sometimes, you know, you guys just order one analysis. That's great. You want to start small, but hey, you know, there's not a hundred percent chance that the property I analyzed for you is going to result in you getting a deal done, right? This is real estate. You all want what everybody wants. You want to make the most money, right? Well, the best deals, the, the, the best deals are going to have the highest level of competition and things of that nature. Plus, don't forget, you got a seller on the other end that's trying to make as much money as possible. So not every deal is going to work out. You're going to have to do a lot of trial and error and going back and forth. That's why I think uh, the 10 property package is great because it allows us to, to go back and forth, understand how each other works and, uh, you know, you ain't going to hit a home run every single time, dude. You're going to swing and miss, uh, you know, a few times. So I'm sure my man, Mark McGuire, you know, he hit a lot of home runs, but he struck out quite a bit, right? That's just part of the game, part of the beast. So, Carrie, let us know what you want to do with these. Uh, we'd be happy to write up the software and negotiate these. Oh, one more thing, too, before I let you get out of here, brother. Uh, Grassmere, okay? In addition to everything I've told you, I forgot to mention, this is also a municipality where there is a point of sale you got to worry about. Again, information on the point of sale, what that means is in the show notes below, the POS videos below. But for this one, we're going to start things off asking for it to be clear. That property looks pretty damn nice to me, only a little cosmetic repairs. So if there is anything on there, it could be a point of negotiation. You know, Maybe we get them to agree to something 
And if they haven't actually ordered the POS, they go in and they order it later. And it turns out there's like $2,000 worth of work. We might be able to chop that off your price and then have Holton Wise do it after closing. We'll see how that all goes. The agents, you know, these agents, they don't always get it before they list it, which they should. That's the most efficient way to do it. Uh, it's hard to get people to agree to assume violations that they don't know what they're going to be. And it's also hard to get sellers to agree to fix violations if they don't know what they are yet. But hey, not all real estate agents were created equal and I can't control how they do their job. Um, and I don't think a lot of them uh, are focused on these types of neighborhoods uh, with these types of assets. Cause a lot of the owner occupied neighborhoods, you don't really see a lot of point of sale. So they may be just unfamiliar with the process, but again, that's why you hire me. That's why you hire my team. Cause this is all we do. So Carrie, let me know what you want to do. Uh, and if you don't like uh, this particular property, you want to make an adjustment, uh, you think what I'm saying is uh, a little bit off of what you're hoping for, let me know. Give me that open feedback. And when we do the next video and the video after that, uh, you know, we could always adjust, right? You know, that's the great thing about these big packages, man. We, we, we don't, we're not just stuck on one path and we got to go there. You know, we could, you know, we could adjust as we go, brother. That's all I've got. I want you guys to stay out there. I'll stay safe out there and, uh, you know, keep on investing, guys. Stay aggressive in these trying times. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price to rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you'll also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.